Uh, hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the timer off delay or T off function block in codices. It's located here in the function blocks with the name of T O F. So as the first step you can try to insert it here in the program and similar to T timer on delay it will appear as a block, a function block with the name and some other attributes. As the name let's keep T O F underline zero. If you press the enter, you will see the auto declaration window in which the type of the variable is TOF. Let's keep it like that. So now here we have uh, the input contact created for that. Let's uh, call it again start, or you can call it stop this time. It, it doesn't matter. It will be a Boolean variable. As the preset time, let's determine 10 seconds. And for the elapsed time, let's declare it as uh, declare it as elapsed time, the time variable. And the output of the timer, let's uh, put a coil with the name of moto, the boolean variable for sure. And in the visualization, we can place one uh, push switch with LED associated with the start variable and uh, let's place one lamp as well and associate it with the motor boolean variable okay so that that's uh, all as the program if we save it and again we can see the performance of the timer of today or tof function block. Uh, all right, so let's let's run the program. As you can see here, uh, the timer of delay or TOF underline zero has some uh, parameters listed here in preset time which is 10 seconds, Q which is the output and the elapsed time which is the uh, elapsed time of the timer and we have the start motor as the boolean variables and elapsed time as the uh, as the time variable so here as far as the start push button is not pressed the timer off delay doesn't receive anything as the input if I press it, it will receive the input and the output of the timer will uh, go through but whenever I press the start push button again, let's say it starts switch, so I provide false here, but the output of timer, the timer off delay, will remain turned on, and it will take mm, 10 seconds in order to have the output of the timer going from true to false. As you can see here, the time, the timing of the timer starts whenever I change the input from 1 to 0, as you see here. So it will take 10 seconds, and after the 10 seconds, the output of the timer will change its state. So that's how you can use the timer off delay in order to create delays at the, uh, for some variables when the state of any other variable goes from true to false.